Hey guys, welcome back. We're talking with Ken J. And if you read the title, yes, this is a conversation much needed. And I'm going to talk about where we at right now in the world today, the state of the world right now, and my take on what's going on. So y'all stay tuned. Like y'all didn't think that I could like Said I told y'all I was going to Okay, so if any of y'all follow me on Facebook, y'all know one of my very videos, my lives on Facebook kind of went viral over the weekend. I'm out here in the Tampa Bay area, Tampa, Florida, and I made a video about the outrage that has been going on with um, people who are protesting, looting, and all these things or whatever. First things first, I want to say um, rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, I feel that um, God has given me a platform um, to use my voice and to use the space to um, speak up on things that I feel as though people are trying to keep us silent on. Um, if you, I'm going to post my live video after this video um, so you guys can get it. It's like a 45 minute video. It's a rant because I was coming from an, I'm not going to say angry, but I was mad. And I'm going to explain to y'all later in the video as this video go on why I was mad. Um, if you have not understood what's going on and you're not outraged oh my god makeup on me if you're not outraged about where we at right now in the world today i need you to question yourself i need you to ask yourself why am i not affected or why am i affected because that's either what if you're either going to be affected or you're not going to be affected and it's going to affect you in many ways and for me the effect that it has on me is seeing that video of mr george floyd i can't get his voice of his cry out out of my head and as a as a woman who's raising a child the state of where we at right now it scares the living daylights out of me because it just go to show you no we've been fighting for us for years period like this was going on right and all that this is not new to us it's true to us we've been doing this for the longest this is in us we've always been fighting for equality fighting for justice fighting just to be heard to be seen to be mentioned to be noticed to realize for the world to realize that we ain't going nowhere period like in my mind and i'm trying to wrap my head around it because i want to use the right words because i do not want youtube to flag this video but i do not understand what it's going to take for America to realize we're not going anywhere. Y'all try to kill us off one by one, but we come back stronger. Like we're not going anywhere. We deserve to be here as much as any other race. And I just don't get why, what the disconnect is, but <sighs> get my thoughts together because I'm trying to be careful with my words. In Tampa, over the weekend, today I am recording this video on Wednesday, June 3rd. Over the weekend of the previous weekend, it was a lot of looting going on, a lot of rioting, a lot of protesting, some peaceful, some chaotic. I'm down for peace and I'm down for chaotic. But it has to be with a cause. Not everybody is out there fighting for a cause. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care if y'all take my, if y'all believe what I say or not. I just, I don't see it. Out here in Florida, we had... People robbed the Champ store, ATN store, robbed into a jewelry store, um, burned down a gas station, burned down the Champ store, broke into the mall in the middle of the night to steal, all this stuff. Like, that is looting. That is not protesting. That is not protesting. I don't care what nobody say. I don't get why. People keep saying, Kendra, you can't tell people how to react when they're mad. You can't tell people what to say when they're mad. Trust me, I understand that. I want us to get mad because it seems like the only time a change or a little bit of a difference happen is when we're mad because this is what they want from us. Y'all want us to be angry. Y'all want us to show this side of us because when we're sitting down and taking the shit that's given to us, y'all fine. But now when we try to stand up and, and, and give off the very same violence that y'all taught us, the very same energy that y'all giving us, all of a sudden we're extremists. We're angry. We're mad. We're all this. So yeah, I want us to get mad. But if you're going to get mad, get mad with a cause. You're not going to convince me that you're so mad about the death of this black man that you want to go rob a shoe store. I'm sorry. Because I ain't never been that mad where I got so mad where I want to go steal. I done got so mad where I want to go burn something down. If you're going to go burn down something... Burn down something with a cause. Burn down them buildings who ain't out here defending us. 
Right now, them millions of people who are against us. Right now, them brands, them companies who ain't spoke out yet. Who ain't used their platform to say what they really need to say or whatever. If you are a brand or a company and you want our support and our love and continue to have the black dollar, this is the time, if not any, to speak out on the injustice of our people. And silence is just as loud. I don't care what nobody say. When a person sends it, when, they, when I feel like you don't have a representative coming out to say nothing, that's saying something. That's just me. All I'm saying is, if we're going to be out here protesting, we're going to get out here to get our voices heard, there's a, I feel as though there's a right and a wrong way. You may not agree, and that's fine. This is just my opinion. No matter what we do, whether we do it peacefully or chaotically, this shit's still going to happen. We've been rioting, doing all this stuff for years. All I'm saying is, if we're going to do it, do it for a cause. Don't be out here doing it or utilizing or abusing this time to be out there stealing, robbing, thieving just because of what's going on. You was broke two weeks ago, be broke now. Don't go rob the at and store, at and store, and then now you mad that that iPhone you just stole or whatever ain't working. You that mad? You're not going to convince me that you're so mad that you want an iPhone. You robbing jewelry stores. You so mad that you want an ice stock chain. You robbing champs and running it down. You so mad that you went and got them new shoes. There's a there's a black business out here in town for what I call Shoe Mountain. And the video that they posted of about 20 children, 20 teenagers, 20 black kids, black and white kids, running into their store and looting their store, stealing hundreds of thousands of merchandise. And this is a black-owned business in the community who gives back to this community. They don't just talk about their shit. They be about their shit. When it's time to come back to school and all that, they give away free shoes. They do backpacks. They do all that. And y'all gonna go loot them? That's not justice. That's not protesting with a cause. That is looting. And understand there's a big difference between people who are looting and people who are protesting. Those are two different individuals. Those are two different type of people. And I feel as though sometimes the media gives more attention to those who are looting than the protesters. Because there's some of us out here who are doing it peacefully. It's some of us out here who are using our platform because we genuinely have something to say. And the one thing that I, I like I said in my live video on Facebook, and right now I think it's at like almost 20,000 views or whatever. I was mad when I, when I did that video. Mad at the fact that we don't look unified stealing. I'm sorry. There's no unity in being a thief. Period. And I got so much hate towards, the, like, a lot of hate. A lot more positivity came my way, and I'm a blessing for that. But I got a lot of hate towards even my own people telling me how stupid you sound or whatever. I'm, very, I'm a very educated black woman. Understand that. I know about the Black Wall Street. I understand that this shit, they, they, they stole this shit from us. I understand that they've been looting us for years. I get all that. I, I ain't new to that. I understand. I know the education behind it. But I don't get how your anger is so derived from all of this that when this death happened, because this is not the first black man to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel as though we only make noise for a little bit. We're going to riot, we're going to protest, we're going to go out here and say our peace, da, da, da. two, three months, all this shit die down. We go back to our lives, go back doing what we're doing, going back to spending money on these camp companies who don't give a pure fuck about us, go back doing that, all back to the regular schedule program, and then all of a sudden, another black life going by a white cop or a white man, and all of a sudden, now we back out here doing it again. Now, I hear a lot of people saying, well, what about black on black crime? I, I get the outrage from both. The difference, and I really need people to understand this, is not more about the murder, it's about the justice. Yes, the murder is what sucks, because it wasn't supposed to, it wasn't supposed to be a murder, it was supposed to be an arrest. But the injustice behind it, when Tyrone go down there and kill Dontavious, Tyrone gets life. Tyrone gets a trial. Tyrone gets a jury. Tyrone gets his sentencing, and he goes to jail. Even though that family has lost the life, they also got justice. When Billy, who's a cop, who's in blue, who's, who's here to serve and protect us and to keep us protected, kill Tyrone, Billy go home. Billy go to his family. Billy gets suspended with pay. Billy gets a bond. He gets bailed out. Billy gets the top paid lawyers to defend him and get told lies that what he did was, it, was okay. Billy gets to still be with his family. There's a big difference. You see the justice? There is none. And that's what people need to understand. No one's saying that we support black on black crime because I feel the same both ways. I get it both ways. But what I'm saying is when is a white cop who's who's in a position of power gets 
away. They're getting away with murder of a life. We can't get that life back. George Floyd's daughter now is going to be raised fatherless while these white officers still get to go home to their children. That's the injustice. That's why we mad. And so now I'm like, now it's y'all turn to get y'all our foot on y'all neck. And bitch, we need to apply pressure every time. Y'all wonder why people are angry. One thing I love about the millennials and this generation, yeah, they're a little toxic turvy. Yeah, they not, you know, all together. But when I tell you, they not being quiet. They using their voice and they're going to speak. And I love that. When I grew up, I, I didn't have that image of young black people speaking out when stuff happened. I was, I was born around the LA riots with Rodney King and all that stuff. Like, I didn't see too many of people that was my age out there rioting, protesting, or speaking up on their behalf. Now, mind you, in the 90s, we didn't have the, the, my, the, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Instagram. Internet wasn't the way it was. Things were being said and done, but it just wasn't vocalized or given a platform to do it now. So I appreciate my young people, my young, young, college-educated, black white, whatever your race is, people who are using their voices and their platforms right now to speak about this because the more we talk about it, the only way they're going to do it is if we continue to raise hell. And that's just on God. It seems like they only listen when we get chaotic. And I'm down for the Martin and the Malcolm way. I'm more Malcolm, but I'm down for both because I tell people, everybody take what, what when it comes down to when I say the Malcolm way, I'm not just saying I'm, I'm pro-violence. That's not what I'm saying. I'm pro whatever energy you give me. And that's exactly how I feel when it came down with Malcolm X. If you come to me with nonviolence, then I come to you with nonviolence. If you come to me as an extremist with violence, then therefore I should be able to fight back with the same level you fighting with me. Period. Period. I get the peace. I believe in peace as well. But I understand you can't expect me to sit down and take a beating. And then now when I'm tired of sitting and I stand up and beat that ass back all of a sudden, I'm the one that's in the wrong. No, baby. I learned this from you. I got this from you. I was taught this from you. Because I don't remember my people asking to be over here, bitch. We was loaded. Y'all brought us over here against our will by the boatload. So how dare you? Sit here and tell us, oh, we're thugs. We're being violent. We don't know how to behave. We learned this behavior from you. You guys taught us this from the beginning. You guys had separate, even when our race was so much division, it started in the household. Y'all separated us from the beginning. You had the, the, the people in the field and the people in the house. Y'all started separating families from the beginning. So whatever, is, whatever that is engraved in our mental, we learned this from America. This is what y'all put in us. This is what y'all did to us. This is what was given to us. So this is just my opinion. I do not agree with the uh, with people looting. I don't agree with that. I don't get with, with looting, especially when you're doing it to black-owned businesses. How, how are we fighting for justice and we right here effing up our own communities? Who y'all think going to rebuild these communities? Who y'all think got to put this stuff back together? And that was one thing I hear in Tampa. The area where they was looting and stuff was an area of predominantly of minorities of black and Spanish people. And I'm like, you doing this in an area where we need these businesses in this area. But we have all these other areas where this man who done had this Confederate flag up for years. We done protested him for years to take that flag down and he never did. Oh, but why y'all ain't hit him first? I'm just saying, if we're going to really do it, if we're going to do it with a cause, let's do it the right way. Why y'all ain't hit him first? Because now this man will pull his flag down, got four or five officers in front of his door because he's scared for his life or whatever. Now you scared, bruh. This is what I'm saying. We have to, we have to continue to put, we have to apply pressure. We have to put our foot on their necks. We have to let them know that we're not to be played with. Period. Period. So following this video, I'm also going to post my live. I want to give a whole disclaimer. It's a lot of cussing going on in that live. I was up at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning when I did that live. Again, I did not expect it to go, I guess you could say, viral. I don't consider it viral because it's only like 20,000 views. But I didn't expect it to they hit numbers in a matter of two days or oh, whatever. I was just talking because I was just outraged at my people. Like, come on. This is the time where if we can't be unified no other time, this is where we have to come together, band together, and let them know we cannot continue to have this happen. And not just do it when there's a cop killing us, but even when we're killing ourselves. Because we are our own worst fucking enemies. Period. 
Any, I want my black men to know we need you. Our communities won't be the same without you. Our families can't hold together without you. We need you. And if don't nobody love you from one sister to, a, to, to you, my brother, I love you. I love my black men. I love y'all. Y'all are our protectors and our providers. And our families can't hold together without y'all. And that's on God. So hopefully, you know, y'all agree with some of my statements in this video. If you don't, don't really give a damn. Let's use our voice for the right things. Let's support each other. Let's pour our monies back into these communities. Pour back into the youth education. Spend your money on black-owned businesses. Go to these city council meetings. Go down there when it's time to vote. When these senses come in, put your ballots in. These are little things that make our voice be heard. And to some of y'all, it may not matter, but it go a long way. Who y'all think sitting in these city council meetings when you choose not to? Who do you think being the voice of us when we choose it? Oh, it ain't popping or it don't seem important. Who do you think being our voice in them to 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 understand our demands and to see where we're hurting at in the community? Who do you think is our voice if we're not there? We got to think about these things. And I'm not just preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to myself because I hold myself accountable. I'm just as guilty. I'm just as guilty. I just can't get the voice of this man crying out for his mama, crying out for his family, crying just like, if that don't do something to you on the inside, I don't know what will. Because it definitely did something to me. It changed me. It, it gave me the, the energy to not only research some things for myself and my own education, but to also to know that that child in there who depends on me, I don't want her to think that this shit is acceptable. I don't want her to be scared. I don't, I don't want her to be scared. And it's like, I don't know what to, what to say to my child. Like, they hate you because of how God made you. None of us was asked to be here. You know what I'm saying? When we was born, we wasn't asked on what type of family we was going to come into. We wasn't asked, you know what I'm saying, what type of class we was going to be in. Poverty, low class, middle class, high class. What part of the time you was... I don't remember nobody consulting with me on what part of the world I wanted to be a part of. What my ethnicity or culture was going to be. That wasn't discussed when we were just born into this. And to just be mad at the fact that I got the same breath running in my body as you do. And that's why you hate me because of my, my pigmentation a little darker than yours. How you tell that to a four-year-old? What teachings can we give these children to let them know that you are somebody? You are important. Because most of some of these deaths with our black people just not in their business. Just for being who you is. Just for being myself, Trayvon Martin, walking home from a store, ain't bothering nobody. Minding his business. Go on by his business. But because he had a hoodie and some Skittles and a tea in his hand, he was, a, he was suspicious. So somebody, Zimmerman thought it was okay to attack him because Trayvon was trying to tear that ass up. He decided to shoot and kill a young black person. What do we tell our children? What do we tell our youth? What are we putting out there for them to be like, you know what? Yes, I can do this. I can win. What are we doing? When I'm watching this stuff on TV, y'all looting these shoe stores and looting these jewelry stores and out here stealing phones and all this stuff. That ain't helping us. That ain't getting our voices heard. That ain't justice. That ain't making them see why we really need to be here. That ain't protesting. That's stealing. I don't care what nobody said, whether you agree with me or not, you're a thief. Because you're not out there doing it for a cause. You're taking advantage of a serious situation for your own personal gain. You're looting. That's a form of robbery. Burglary. If you're going to do something, do something with a cause. You're going to set a building on fire. So go down there and set the right buildings on fire. Shit. Not these black businesses running into these black businesses. These people work hard for their stuff. I'm down for a chaotic riot. I'm down for chaotic protest. I'm down for peacefulness. I'm down for it all. But with a cause. And you ain't out there to make no noise. You just out there because you want to just post something on Facebook. Your, 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 your means does not justify the end. I don't care what nobody say. It doesn't. And you can't convince me otherwise. Don't give a fuck who don't like what I got to say. And that's on God. If you want to make some noise... Make sure the noise makes sense. Some of y'all just out there just to be out there because you think it's going to look good on your social media. Posting selfies with a burning building behind you just because. You're not out there doing it with a cause. 
You're not out there because you really are affected. Y'all not affected. Y'all not bothered. When you really bother, you really affected by something, your heart is in this shit to where you're going to make a lot of noise when you want your voice to be heard. We are So many people, are so many, many people, especially celebrities, and it hurt me, are given such a platform to speak out on things. And when you choose not to, understand your silence is just as loud. Saying nothing is just as bad as saying something. Okay? That's just how I see it. These businesses, these brands, who we spend our money on, the Gucci's, the Louis, the Prada's, the Fendi's, the uh, Balenciaga's, all this, where they at? They protesting. They out there on the streets with us, but y'all give them y'all black dollar. We spend our coins on them. We get them what we got. We see here, we the ones who got these people businesses flourishing. It's so much money coming from us that a lot of these businesses can't stand if we take our dollars from them. But you got an auntie down the street, a cousin down the street who's selling the same shit, selling the shirt, selling some makeup, selling something, selling the dinner or whatever. But you want to support them because they just some local ass niggas. They ain't famous enough for you. They ain't got their shit together enough for you for to get a dollar. But these companies who don't support us, who are out here giving Trump money to his organization, preach, hello, but y'all don't go support them. Baby, I was down for when they burned down Target. Target make it known. I was down when they burned down Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A don't support us. Got the best damn customer service in town, though. But they damn sure, su they damn sure support the other team. Come on, we're going to make some noise. Hit them where they hurt financially. And I know that may sound easier said than done. Get it. The same way I'm preaching to y'all, I'm preaching to myself. The same way y'all encouraging y'all, I'm encouraging myself. Because if we don't hit them where it hurt, we don't let them know that we're not to be F with. And that we stand, we gotta understand we are some of the most powerful people on earth. But we're so divided. If we stand together and we activate that strength, we will be a force to be reckoned with. I preach this, I preach this, and I preach this. They are so scared of us, and that's why they're killing us, because they know the potential that's within us. They know the power that we have. We are some of the strongest creatures on earth. We are some of the most educated motherfuckers on earth. America was built off of the backs of us. Talk about make America great. America wouldn't even be good if it wasn't without us. We build this shit. Half of the inventions and the shit these companies use was made from us. So if we're going to make our voices heard. We're going to stand for something. Let it be for what it calls. Don't just be out there because you want some new shoes, bruh, man. And you was broke last week. Be broke this week. Do this because you're affected. Be out there protesting because you're affected. Be out there because it bothers you. Be out there because the injustices that we see in our community on our people. And if you don't know nobody do it for, do it for your brother. Do it for your cousin. Do it for your daddy. Do it for your son. Do it for your neighbor. Do it for somebody because either way, it's somebody that's affected by this. Period. It's somebody that's affected by this. It's somebody that's hurt by this. And I don't know anybody, if y'all ain't, if y'all watch that video, the different angles of that video, and it don't do something to you, I need you to question you. I really do. I need you to question you. Because as a black woman, I love my black man. And this ain't make me want to go harder for y'all even more. No matter, no matter what it is that we all go through, we need our people. They killing us. They don't want us here. They don't want us here when we didn't even ask to be here. We were looted. They took us from what we were. We were minding our own damn business. And they came and got us to make us to come work and do the stuff that they didn't want to do. Made us work for a country that we made, help make, after they done lied and stole it from the Native Americans. And made us build shit that we didn't ask to build. But they took claim from it. Oh, this your property, but bitch, you didn't. You ain't out here working for it. You ain't out here. You ain't out here doing the, the the hard work, building the foundations. They know the power that we have, and when we band together, y'all, we are a true force to be reckoned with. So we have to activate that strength. It's time for us to not put our foots on their neck and apply pressure every time. It's time for them to know that we are no, no, we are not our ancestors, baby. You're not just gonna silence us and we just sit back and be quiet and take it, bitch. We got something to say. You fight, we fight. You shoot, we shoot. You kill, now it's our turn. And that's just how I see it. So if you can't respond to the video, again, hopefully, if you agree, you agree. 
If you don't, that's fine with me too. We all have our own opinions. But this is just my take on what's going on in the state of the world right now or whatever. I want everybody out there to be safe, um, as safe as you possibly can. Um, love on your family. Love on your loved ones while they're here. Support our people. Give back to our communities. Pour more education, knowledge, and understanding and wisdom into our black youth or whatever. And even when it seems like they don't want to listen, they don't want to be bothered, keep preaching. You OGs have so much knowledge. Y'all have so much knowledge and y'all can save so many people, save so many young souls. But because y'all choose to be silent and don't give back or whatever, the shit don't, it, it, it don't get out there. I don't believe God give us these talents and this knowledge just to sit on. It's for us to spread out, especially to our people. Especially to our people. So don't stay quiet. Don't stay stagnant. Don't stay silent. Use your voice. Use your platform or whatever. Protect yourself at any cost. Know your rights. Know yourself. Know your culture. And give back to your people. Give back to your community. Give back to your community. And this ain't teach you nothing. So this is just my take on what's going on in the world right now. Um, please comment below your thoughts. What's going on where you at? Like I said, I'm in the Tampa Bay area out here in Florida. So y'all comment on what's going on in y'all area of town. What part of the world that you in? What are some things that y'all see that's going on or whatever? Um, I've been watching the news or whatever on online or whatever. I see a lot of stuff going on in Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, um, New York, Atlanta, Minneapolis, Minnesota, or whatever. Um, it's a lot of outrage, even overseas in Ghana, or whatever, UK. Um, I've been seeing it all. So um, one thing I learned when it comes down to protesting and it's time for the when it starts one way, it's like a domino effect. It happens everywhere. And that's how it needs to be. They need to understand that we can't, we ain't taking this shit no more. And we definitely ain't taking it sitting down. We are not our ancestors. We will fight back. And they need to know that. And we're going to apply pressure every time. Now it's time for us to put our foots on their necks. So, again, if you can't respond to the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all head over to my Facebook page. Um, Kendra Highly Blessed Jones, that is my Facebook page or whatever. I will be posting my live video that um, I did have on Facebook. I will post it on my YouTube channel for you guys to look at. Like I said, I'm going to give a disclaimer. There's a lot of cursing. Because I was angry with Tampa, Florida, when I made that video. Not really angry. I was just, I was disappointed. I was mad. Because I expect more from us, especially from my people. Or oh, whatever. So, again, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please go follow your girl on Instagram at talking underscore with underscore Ken J. Um, w for with. Also, please go follow my business page, Capture Confidence. And go shop on captureconfidence.com. And as always... Thank y'all for talking with you. Like this. Y'all didn't think that I could bump like this. Said I told y'all.